Hey guys, it's Luke Pell, and you're watching Country Music Minute. All right, guys, Sam Johnson here with Country Music Minute. We are hanging out at CMA Fest with the good-looking Luke Pell. I am so happy I finally get to meet you. It's so glad. I'm so glad to be here. This year, uh, CMA Fest is just packed. The Stanley Cup Finals are also this week, so Nashville is just electric right now. So much energy in town. Huge hockey fan or...? I'm a huge Preds fan. I grew up down in Texas, which they don't have hockey down in Texas very much. Um, so, yeah, I didn't grow up around hockey, but since I moved to Nashville, I realized how much you know the community really embraces the Preds and it's just been awesome to watch them so I've been a Preds fan for almost 10 years now so yeah. So are you gonna watch the game tonight? Oh absolutely I'm gonna watch the game tonight yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and get a popcorn and some beer or something and watch the game so that'd be fun. And, and finally relax you've been running around you just jumped off the stage um, how's the crowd out there? They're incredible. Like uh, it was, it was unreal. That, that's one of my favorite stages. Um, is the Chevrolet Park stage. Um, it's just such a cool spot right in front of the Hall of Fame. So like you can like while you're on stage, you're looking at the Hall of Fame, like which is like the epitome, like the goals of the whole reason you're in Nashville and in country music, you know. And you can think about that. So and the fans were just they're unreal, and they was packed out there. So it was so much fun. I have to ask, you know, being on The Bachelorette, do you have any crazy fan stories you want to share with us? Anything that that like stands out? You're like, man, this fan is so crazy. Um, um, you know, every once in a while, uh, there, we find fans that, you know, they they get a little aggressive sometimes, you know. Um, actually, well, sometimes it's on stage, sometimes it's not on stage, but um, actually, this is a little weird to say, but I had my, my pants were unzipped on stage one time. I got a little too close to the front row, and I didn't really, I didn't know that was going to be a threat. I didn't know that was an issue, and, and my pants got... I think that's the first I've ever heard of that from any artist. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So what did you do in that moment? Uh, I just try to I just try to hold it together, first of all, and try to just process what just happened, remember the lyrics to the rest of the song while I uh, went back and uh, you know, asked my somebody else to zip my pants up, I guess. No. I mean country fans are crazy, but I didn't realize they were that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they get pretty crazy in some of these um, clubs and, and bars that we play in, so yeah. it's fun. Okay, so I want to talk music and The Bachelorette, season 12 of The Bachelorette. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's crazy. You just told me off camera you're locked in for like eight weeks straight. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people that watch the show, they don't they don't know that. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they just assume that maybe, you know, you're filming and some more uh, relaxed filming schedule where you're in and out of town. And you're literally there for eight weeks straight. You're at their mercy. You got no phone, no contact, no TV, no contact to the real world. And so you're just locked in this fishbowl. And it's really, like I tell people, it's like Hunger Games, but nobody dies, like, yet. Good thing. So I think that that might be the most dramatic season ever is when they start killing people off instead of sending them home. They're like, nah, he's not good enough. Kill him. So, uh, so I have... <laughs> there would really be Hunger Games. Are you a Hunger Games fan or? I love Hunger Games. It's very addicting. Addicting, like you know, I love J Law. First of all, Jennifer Lawrence. I love Jennifer Lawrence, but I just couldn't get into the Hunger Games. I know I'm one of those freaks that couldn't get into it, but oh well. Well, I have to ask. So, so being on The Bachelorette has that played a struggle in be, becoming an artist? And because you've you've been a songwriter, but people might not have known that about you, you know, before you started on The Bachelorette. You know, it's interesting. Um, it's a double-edged sword, really, uh, being on reality TV, and, and it was something that just fell in my lap uh, at the time. And, and it's a funny story. My hair, the lady that does my hair, um, she put my name in the hat and like submitted me for the bachelor bachelorette. I didn't know about it. And then like a year later is when they called me. And they're like, "Hey, we're coming to Nashville. We'd like to meet with you." So long story short, um, went through the whole process and just said, "Why not?" to it, you know, and. Uh, I had a great time, you know, I don't regret it at all, but at the same time, when it's over, the world sees you as that character that you were casted on the show as. And so I kind of had to, you know, reintroduce myself to the world and say, look, I've been a singer and a songwriter and living in Nashville, chasing my dreams here um, for a long time, you know? And, uh, and so I'm trying to get back to that because a lot of people would just assume they're like, oh, he was on TV show. Then all of a sudden he just out of nowhere decided that he wants to, you know, be in Nashville. And so um, it's been interesting to kind of reintroduce the world to the rest of the story, you know, so. To the real Luke Pell. Yeah, exactly. And you're in the army. And yeah. so how is that really, you know, that's, I'm sure has played a huge part in your songwriting. Yeah, it really has. Um, you know, I grew up a lot 
Um, I've matured a lot um, being in the military. I went to West Point on a football scholarship, and so I didn't have any family background or anything in the military, so it was very foreign for me um, to step into that world. But, you know, I, I enjoyed every minute of it. I was glad I got to serve, you know, my country and, and just really learn and, and develop in that world and uh, spent almost nine years doing it. And then finally was able to come back and, and uh, come back and do what I love, and that's being a songwriter and an artist here in Nashville. So. So are you touring this year? What's what, what do you have going on? Yeah, so we've, we've got some uh, some big announcements coming up this fall that we're excited about, um, some tours uh, in the fall. Um, right now, my band is out. We, we play almost every weekend somewhere, some city, uh, you know, across the U.S. And so that we're having a great time with that right now. Like, I'm here in Nashville. Usually at the beginning of the week, I write. I'm in the studio. And then the weekends, we're out on the road um, playing new cities, new venues, and, and just meeting fans. So it's, it's been a blast. It's a lot of work. It's not as easy as it looks. Oh my God! It is. It, it wears on you. Yeah. There's like, um, I forget to sleep sometimes. I forget to eat sometimes. So yeah, it's just you're. I've never worked harder in my life than I do right now. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like work because I'm doing what I love to do. And so uh, I'm just. I'm having a great time. So when you're doing what you love, I mean, what are you? Are you fishing? Are you playing football on the side? Are you at the yeah. YMCA? Um, you know, I, I really what I love to do now, being so busy, is it's challenging to find time for my friends and family. And so that's like exactly. And when I do have a break and time off, I want to go straight to catch up with friends and family that I haven't seen in a while because I've been out traveling so much. So that's the first thing I do. And then I'm a, I'm a Texas kid. So, I mean, I grew up, you know, hunting, fishing, just um, barbecuing, hanging out. So, like, that's that's my thing. So, yeah. You're just a good old southern boy. <laughs> just I'm just a small town kid from Texas. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, last question. Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter? Yeah. Which, which one's your What's favorite? Favorite? What's your favorite? Um, or Snapchat. But, Mom book is is out is what I think a lot of people are calling it now. Yeah. I don't. I've not heard of mom book yet. <laughs> I think it's like Facebook is now like right. becoming yeah. like everybody's mom's on Facebook, right? My and grandmother so, is even on Facebook exactly. now. So. Grandma's on Facebook. Facebook's still cool. I'm it's not. I'm not a fan of it as much anymore. Like Instagram's my thing. I'm a visual learner, so Instagram's very much about pictures and images, and I'm like, I, I love that. I can connect with that. Um, Twitter. It's just it's a you gotta like have ADD for that I think because there's just information just always coming across it. Uh, anyway, so I'm an Instagram guy. Very cool. All right, well tell fans where they can find you at. Yeah, so on my Instagram, um, it's Luke underscore underscores two of them. Uh, there was a couple of the Luke Pels in the world, and uh, they they beat me to it. Um, so that's on Instagram, uh, and then uh, Twitter is just at Luke Pell, and then uh, Snapchat is Lucas Pell. So, and then of course my website is actually LukePell.com, so that's easy to find.